In this video, I'm going to introduce you to some basic ideas about color theory. Basically, this is a color wheel. It's made up of primary colors, secondary colors, and tertiary or intermediate colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. They're called primaries because you have to begin with those colors. You can't use other colors to mix them. The secondary colors are made up by mixing two of the primaries, and the intermediate colors are made up by mixing a primary and a secondary. You probably are familiar with this, uh, but you may not uh, be familiar with how artists use the color wheel. So here I've set up 12 colored pencils that basically represent the colors on the color wheel, and I've colored in the little circle that you see there. What I want to show you is, uh, which I find one of the most important things about information on the color wheel, are the complementary colors. The complementary colors are those opposite each other on the color wheel. The interesting thing about them is that they are made up of a primary, or actually the three primaries together in some format. So for instance, yellow is the opposite of violet. Violet is made up of red and blue, so yellow and violet um, have nothing at all in common with each other because they cannot be mixed by um, mixing two colors together. So what happens is when they are overlapped, as in um, the drawing I'm doing right now, you see that they cancel out the properties of each other. So yellow uh, no longer is yellow, violet is no longer violet, but what happens is they create a neutralized color. All of the various combinations that you see me using are going to create some kind of neutral color but those neutral colors will all look different from each other depending on the combination of how they're made. This is a really good way to understand how to create realism in a drawing. So when you're drawing, let's say, a red apple, um, in order to get some of the shadow areas of the red apple, you will be using green. You may not intuitively have thought green would be a color to use in a red apple, but green will help neutralize the red make it um, a little bit darker and help give volume to that three-dimensional apple that you're drawing. You'll see me do this in the demonstration um, in another video during this, this week's module. So the next part of this video I want to talk to you about how to make colors lighter and darker. A color with white added to it is called a tint. So here you see me using red and I'll be applying white on top of it to create a lighter value called a tint of the color red. Um, the white colored pencil also acts as a burnisher by um, mixing the un colors underneath it like um, you do when you use a blender. Except with a blending pencil, um, you are not adding additional color. Here we're doing something called burnishing with the white and we're adding a lighter value to the red which will create a pinkish kind of color, and that is called the tint. The next thing we're doing is making a tone, and I'm going to make a tone in two different ways. The first one is going to be a tone with gray, and the second one will be a tone using uh, red's opposite or complementary color, which is green. Your set does not include a gray, and it isn't really necessary um, for you to have a gray, but if you do want one or you want one for your, your final project, if you're doing a Prismacolor drawing, you can buy individual grays online uh, or if you have a craft store nearby, you can probably pick one up there. So this first one, I am adding a gray and the name of that gray is a warm gray. You um, can find a other types of grays is a cool gray, but I decided to use warm because red is a warm color. So you can see that by adding the gray, I've really neutralized the red. Here I'm adding green uh, on top of the red, and you can see that it is also creating a neutralized red. Um, so um, it's something that happens. Our eyes kind of look at these two colors and interpret them as, again, canceling each other out so they become very neutralized. This last one is going to be red with black added to it, and that's called a shade. A when you make a color darker, you are making a shade. So I'm going to use black on top of the red, but other colors could be used. So you can make any color darker by adding a darker color on top of it and then blending it um, 
to have the, a mixture of both colors. But in this case, I am just using the black, but um, other colors could be used. I could be using a darker green, I could be using a blue, but if I used a blue and then I blended those colors, there would be a little bit of a purplish tint to it. 